Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to use the TI-8384 to conduct a test um, for mean differences for paired data. This is from chapter 9.1 from the workbook. Um, okay, and it's not quite as complicated as all this text over here would make it seem. So I'm going to go right down to the example. Let's see, in the example we have some data here for um, cholesterol levels before medication and then the cholesterols from the same 10 men one year after the medication. So they're paired. Each, each man has two values in here. That's what we mean by paired data. And what we're really doing is a single sample test on the differences of these levels. So it's really no different than a t-test we've done in the past. Um, and that's why we use the t-test. So to get started, um, oh, and by the way, before we start, um, it's worth noting we're testing um, the claim that on average the medication lowers cholesterol for all men uh, diagnosed with high cholesterol. So what we're saying is that this difference, we're claiming that the mean difference in all men is greater than zero based on our sample mean of 32. All right? Okay, so. It's a pretty safe bet that we're going to um, support this claim. So what do we do? We, we go over to our calculator. We hit the stat button. We go over to tests. Go down to the t-test. Hit enter. And we'll start by doing with um, the actual stats. And then we'll, I'll show you how to do this with the actual data um, in a minute. Or when we're done with here. So we're going with stats. The mean and the null hypothesis is zero, right? So this mu sub zero here is zero. It starts that way anyway. And the sample mean, the sample mean difference, um, more specifically, is 32. So we're going to put in 32.0 uh, if you want. And the standard deviation of the means is 15.4. 15.4. And then the sample size, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs. The sample size is ten, so n is ten. This is a right tailed test, so we're going to scroll over to the greater than symbol, hit enter, and calculate. All right, and so what it puts out, it puts out the test statistic, which is 6.57. That's a, that's a big value there. It gives us the p-value, which is 5.1326e to the negative 5. So that's 10 to the negative 5. So that's really small. Um, so in this case, uh, the p-value is about 5.13 times 10 to the negative 5. So it's very small. Certainly less than alpha. We reject the null hypothesis. And the data supports our claim that, on average, the medication lowers cholesterol level um, in all men diagnosed with high cholesterol. So let's see how you do this with the, with the data. And so to do that, you actually have to put the data in a list. And so the way you'd start that is, again, with the stat button. And then under edit, you, it starts there. So that's where you're going to leave it. You're going to hit enter on edit. And here you're going to build your lists, all right? List one. List one already contains the before data. List two, the after data. And list three has the differences. So I'm actually going to access list three whenever I do this. OK, so I'm going to conduct the test. I hit the stat button, and I go over to tests, t-test, hit enter. Only now I'm going to use the data. So I highlight data and hit enter. It still asks me for the hypothesized mean of the, from the null hypothesis, which is still 0. And the list is not list 1. I want list 3. So I hit the second button and 3 so I can access that little L3 up there. So second, 3. I have L3. Frequency, you leave frequency at 1. And we go down. This is still a right tailed test. So I'll highlight that, even though it was already highlighted. And hit calculate. Enter. And notice, um, it gives us a slightly different test statistic because it's using the raw data. There's no round off error going on here. And a p-value, which is um, basically the same. We had, the last one we had was 5.13 uh, 
times um, 10 to the negative 5, and using the raw data, you get 5.2 times 10 to the negative 5. So it's still way below um, the significance level, so uh, again, we reject our claim. But either way, using the raw data or using the just the summary statistics, it's, it's pretty easy to do. So uh, you should be good to go.